Hello, my name is Kainsan Munoyen. I'm the application developer, and here in this video, I'm going to discuss code optimization techniques as it applies to compiler construction. So, what are code optimization techniques? Of course, uh, in the compiler design, at some point in time, the source code have to be optimized before the final machine code is generated. So, what are the various optimization techniques that is employed in compiler? In another video, I'm going to discuss various phases of the compiler, uh, compiler design. So, we are going to talk about uh, seven of them. The first, dead code elimination, constant folding, copy propagation, strength reduction, Common sub expression elimination, code motion, and inline in seven of them we are going to discuss right now. So let's go right into the first one dead code elimination. So uh, it has to do with eliminating the codes that cannot be reached, okay, or where the result of an expression is not subsequently used in the code. Okay, now take a look at, at this uh, function here. So we have uh, two variables, i and then count. Now see how it flows. We have count is being declared here. Right inside this function we have i is declared and assigned a value. But then i is never used. So i is a dead code a expression assigning value and declaring i is a dead code and has to be removed. Then count is assigned a value here is also assigned a value overwriting the first value assigned. So meaning that the the first assignment is used like so it's not it's not used. Then count is equal to three is a dead code because the function returns before it gets to it. So if we remove all the codes that are, are, are dead codes, then the final program becomes like you can see here. So can you see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines. It's been reduced to one, two, three, four, five lines. So that's about dead code elimination. Let's move to something else. Constant folding. Now, don't confuse constant folding with constant propagation. Constant folding has to do with shrinking the, the, the expression that contains constant. So, instead of using an expression like 12 plus 4 plus 3, we just use the, the results calculated at compile time. And so, we don't have to put this expression in our codes. So it says refers to a techniques evaluating at compile time expressions whose operands are known to be constant. So these are constants, so why not evaluate it at compile time and just replace the whole expression with the result. So this is what constant folding is all about. Now we have constant propagation. It simply means that if a variable has, is, is assigned a constant value, then subsequent use of that variable can be replaced by a constant as long as no intervening assignment has changed the value of the variable. So let's just look at the example and it becomes clearer. Here we have int x equal to 12, y is equal to 7 minus x uh, over 2 return base. So what do we have? We have that x is assigned a constant value, okay? So it means that anywhere we have x we just replace with the value 12. So we replace the value 12 here and value 12 here. So after applying constant propagation we have this code. Then of course remember constant folding so these expressions made up of a uh, constant, we can just evaluate them at compile time and then use the, the value. 
Then we also have strength reduction. It's called operator strength reduction. And it's simply the replacement of expressions that are expensive with cheaper and more simpler ones. For example, the multiplication is more expensive than the addition. Okay? And so goes the division. Uh, operator is more expensive than the subtraction and addition. So if you have t2 is equal to t2 times 2, then we can replace with uh, t2 is equal to t2 plus t2. Okay? So we have our multiplication has been re replaced with addition and that's about strength re uh, reduction the same thing goes to uh, instead of using exponential you can use multiplication so if you have a to power 2 okay instead of using a to power 2 you can say a times a also it reduces the strength so look for expressions on operators uh, that are less expensive and replace the expensive ones. So this another uh, another color optimization techniques, common sub expression elimination. So here, what are we talking about? If we have sub expression that are identical, we simply replace the redundant ones. Okay, what are we saying here? If we look at this good fragment here, we have A is equal to B plus C, B times C plus G, and D is equal to B times C times E. So, uh, without going too far, we can say uh, a sub-expression B times C repeating itself two times. So, we can easily replace this sub-expression here with a single expression. So in the in the optimized code we have t is equal to b times c and so anywhere we have the sub expression b times c we now use the 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 results of t so that's about common sub expression elimination code motion simply means uh, an expression that is inside a loop okay that doesn't have any effect inside a loop can simply be moved outside the loop. So if a loop is executing without changing certain uh, variables that are right inside that loop, for the fact that that variable is not changing its value by executing the loop, simply move it out. So if we look at the example here, we have x is equal to y plus z. So this expression does not have effect being inside the loop and therefore code motion has it that this the expression has to be moved outside and the optimized code is shown below okay now we have another one inlining inlining is quite simple it simply says instead of having a function call simply replaces function call with the body of the function so if you have um, the reason is because they are overhead associating with expanding uh, handling function calls so we have this function here int add and we have this now this function sub calls add function okay so inlining is going to have it that instead of calling the add function simply write the result okay the body of the function right inside so instead of saying return add x y let's say return x plus y because we have that the function add is simply adding the two values so these are the various code optimization techniques i think i've discussed seven so far so let's look at an example now so we have this code here I'm, I'm thinking you have to uh, pause the video and take a look at how you can detect the various uh, areas that this code can be optimized. Let's just take a look at some of them. T is T1 is equal to T1 plus one. Check. T1 is uh, it is not used.
because it has been overridden somewhere. Okay, maybe you just take time to get this thing around your head. But after I cross checked, I have the, the result here. After optimization, I have the final result. So, these are the various code optimization techniques. I hope this video has been informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing me well. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you find my videos informative. Like my videos, you can also make comment. Tell me what you want me to, to to explain clearly or something you don't understand. And I'll appreciate a lot of that. So thank you for viewing once more.